Are you ready to take a trip down memory lane to 1988? A year that brought us a television series that would become a touchstone for an entire generation. The Wonder Years was not just another show, it was a window into the past. A coming-of-age story that resonated with audiences young and old alike. But before we delve into the fascinating facts about this series, we have a question for you. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Or can you share a personal story of how it has inspired or impacted your life? Now, let's set the stage for some intriguing tidbits about the Wonder Years. This beloved show followed the life of Kevin Arnold as he navigated the tumultuous waters of adolescence during the 1960s and early 1970s. It was a series that seamlessly blended humor and heart, capturing the essence of growing up and all the poignant moments that come with it. Here's a little known fact. Did you know that the show's narrator, the adult Kevin Arnold, was voiced by Daniel Stern, best known for his role in Home Alone? And speaking of familiar faces, the series featured an early appearance by none other than Alicia Silverstone, who later became a 90 Seconds icon. But enough about the show's history, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Wonder Years? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, with memories in mind, let's dive into the world of the Wonder Years and explore some intriguing details about this iconic TV series. Hit ready to be transported back in time as we uncover the magic of the show that touched so many hearts. Stay tuned for more fun facts. The Wonder Years, a beloved TV series that originally aired from 1988 to 1993, is a coming-of-age dream set in the turbulent 1960s and early 1970s. The show's unique narrative device features an adult Kevin Arnold reminiscing about his adolescence, providing a poignant and nostalgic perspective on the challenges and triumphs of growing up in suburban America. At the heart of the series is Kevin, a relatable and endearing protagonist, and his close-knit family, including his parents Jack and Norma, as well as his best friend Paul and his first love, Winnie Cooper. With its well-crafted blend of humor and heart, the Wonder Years tackled complex themes like family, friendship, love, and the societal changes of the era. The series made an enduring impact on popular culture by capturing the universal experience of adolescence and remains a classic that continues to resonate with viewers of all generations. It's a testament to the power of storytelling and nostalgia. The Wonder Years, a 1988 TV series, was set in an anonymous suburban location, reflecting an Anytown, USA feel. Although creator Neil Marlins originally wanted it to be set in Long Island, New York, ABC opted for a more generic setting. However, subtle clues throughout the series strongly point to Southern California as the actual location. All cars have California plates, there are visible mountains at the end of Kevin Arnold Street, and winter weather is conspicuously absent. Further indications of a Midwestern setting, like Ohio, emerge through episodes where characters end up in places like Loudonville. Additionally, Jack's business trips to Pittsburgh and Cincinnati suggest that the show's filming location in California is distinct from its narrative setting. This dual identity adds an intriguing layer to the series, making it a fascinating aspect of the Wonder Years. The show's extensive use of popular music and the associated rights became a syndication headache years after its initial cancellation. This issue contributed to the significant delay in releasing the complete series on DVD. The Wonder Years' reliance on iconic songs added to its nostalgic charm, but created complications in the long run. Despite the fans' desire to relive the series, the intricate web of music rights had to be untangled before it could be made widely available. The delay in the show's release highlighted the lasting impact of its music-driven storytelling. Fred Savage, known for his role as Kevin Arnold in the 1988 TV series The Wonder Years, caught the attention of casting directors through his performances in movies like Vice Versa and The Princess Bride. His role as Kevin, a relatable and endearing protagonist, was primarily influenced by his performance in Vice Versa. This series, set in the 1960s and 1970s, portrayed the challenges and triumphs of growing up in suburban America. It remains a classic that resonates with viewers of all generations. This interesting tidbit about Savage's casting sheds light on how the show came together. 
In the 1988 TV series The Wonder Years, there's an interesting tidbit about the show's finale. At the end of the final episode, the voice of the narrator's kid is actually Daniel Stern's son Henry. The producers wanted to create a touching moment between them as a way to end the show. This behind-the-scenes fact adds a heartwarming dimension to the series, showing how real-life connections played a role in creating the show's emotional impact. The Wonder Years was not just a show on screen, but it also had its personal connections off screen. It's a testament to the show's lasting impact and the care that went into its production. In the 1988 TV series The Wonder Years, a notable behind-the-scenes fact adds depth to the show's authenticity. Owing to its time, the Vietnam War served as a recurring backdrop to the series, and Jack, played by Dan Loria, was a Korean War veteran, serving as a U.S. Marine Corps officer. What's intriguing is that in real life, Dan Loria is also a Vietnam veteran, having served as a U.S. Marine Corps officer at the same point in his own life as his character. This real-life connection adds an interesting layer to the series, reflecting the show's commitment to historical accuracy. In the 1988 TV series The Wonder Years, the show underwent a significant change in its leadership during its run. Carol Black and Neil Marlins, the program's co-creators, decided to step away from the industry, leaving the show's fate uncertain. Bob Brush took over as showrunner and executive producer starting in season two, and continued in that role until the show concluded. This transition in leadership had a lasting impact on the series, shaping its direction and success. It's a testament to the resilience of the show and the adaptability of its team in delivering a beloved coming-of-age dream that continues to resonate with viewers of all generations. In the 1988 TV series The Wonder Years, an interesting behind-the-scenes fact adds depth to the show's authenticity. While watching the series, you might have noticed the voiceover narration that provides insight into Kevin Arnold's thoughts and experiences. But did you know that there was an actual narrator on set reading those voiceover lines aloud? This unique approach was used to make it easier for Fred Savage, who portrayed Kevin, to react to the voiceover dialogue. This behind-the-scenes tidbit offers a glimpse into the production process of The Wonder Years. It shows the creative efforts taken to bring Kevin Arnold's character to life and to capture the essence of his coming-of-age journey in suburban America. The use of an on-set narrator added a layer of authenticity to the show and contributed to its enduring impact. So, the next time you watch The Wonder Years, pay attention to the voiceover narration, knowing that there was a real voice guiding the emotional depth of the series. It's just one of the many fascinating aspects that make this 1988 TV series a classic that continues to resonate with viewers of all generations. As we wrap up our journey through the nostalgia-filled corridors of the Wonder Years, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on the personal connection you've forged with this timeless 1988 TV series. Whether you've been a loyal fan from the very beginning or just recently discovered the wonder of Kevin Arnold's coming-of-age adventures, there's something undeniably special about this show. Perhaps it evokes memories of your own adolescence, the ups and downs of growing up, and the profound relationships that shape our lives. Maybe it's the poignant voiceovers, the evocative soundtrack, or the enduring charm of the characters that have left an indelible mark on your heart. The Wonder Years has a unique way of making us feel like we're right there with Kevin, navigating the trials and tribulations of youth. Now, I'd like to encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or reflections on this remarkable series. What moments struck a chord with you? Which character did you resonate with the most? How has the Wonder Years influenced your own journey through life? Your insights and anecdotes are invaluable in keeping the magic of this show alive. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane and for sharing your passion for the Wonder Years. Your engagement and enthusiasm are what make the wonder of this series endure through the years. Keep those memories close and continue to explore the beauty of nostalgia in your own life. Until next time, keep the wonder alive and remember that your story is as unique as the series itself.